Peace, 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 y'all. What's happening? Well, let's get right into it. I'm Chocolate Almond Ron. Y'all all should know me by now, but if you don't know me, those who see my videos or pass any of my information on, I am Chocolate Almond Ron. I'm not no preacher, pastor, reverend, deacon, astronomer, no mathematics, petition, I'm no scholar, or I'm no archaeologist. I am the messenger. The message I receive, I pass it out because knowledge is everything. You must have it, you must understand it. And when you receive it, what happens is you will be so overwhelmed that you need to tell it. And matter of fact, knowledge is free and you're supposed to deliver information because the, the, the identity of our people has been, uh, how can I say, it's not hidden, but it's been secretly over the years. And when I say years, I mean hundreds of years. Now, hundreds of years is not that long as the way we think it is. But if we choose not to want to identify ourselves according to who we are, our ancient ancestors, or, or biblical ancestors, if you will. Now, now, let's jump into it. What I'm about to say, some of y'all are going to be um, defensive because you're going to be defensive anyway. You can't help yourself. This is the way, this is what, this is how a lot of us are. We're defensive on a lot of things. And when reality, what you really need to do is practice self-discipline. Practice self-discipline. Trust me. Sometimes I lose control of myself too. I'm not going to sit there and act like I, I have the mastery. No. It could take a lifetime. But we need to be self-disciplined on our emotions. So many people sounds like um, winding animals that just can't control themselves. I'm not calling you an animal. I'm just saying sometimes we sound like that. Okay? Now, I, to get that out of the way, I will say this. Okay? I will say this. Matter of fact, hold on. All right, I'm back. Um... The word we will be using today is blessing. I'm not going to use it as a gratitude or, or I'm blessed. When I hear people state I'm blessed all the time, in reality, you're not even... Listen, okay, hold on before I jump into that deeply. People use it very often. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Why are you blessed? Let's get that, let's get that out of the way. Why are you blessed? You keep saying that you're blessed, but why are you? Because you're not going through any adversities. You've been spared death, sickness. Hmm? What happens if any one of these things occurred in your life? Hmm? Would you be able to handle the animosity, the adversity that's going to occur in your life? You're going to receive it. Now, what cracks me up, real talk, and I'm one of them that say real talk, is that the same people who constantly use, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. When you was out there in the street or wherever, whatever you was doing, negativity, a lot of negative, a lot of negative action, was you going around talking about you was blessed? When you was cheating on your husband, Cheating on your wife. Hmm? All of a sudden now, you got faith. Hallelujah! Right? So now you got faith. So now you want to go, I'm blessed. Hmm? When you was drugging, smoking drugs, and drinking alcohol, and shooting that dope in your arms, or whatever the case may be, did you feel that you, had, you was blessed? Well, you should have said, 
I'm blessed. Even then, the reason why, because you survived. You survived and you made it. But you wasn't thinking about blessed. You probably were saying something like this. I deserve to be punished. God had punished me. A lot of you think like that. God had to put me through this. God put me through this to test me. This is your testimony. This is how phony. Now, I'm not calling y'all phony. I'm telling phony how the outcome is to be. Because if you even read one scripture, and I said this in a, uh, on my earlier post, go to James chapter 1, verses 13. It tells you, God don't tip no one, don't tip God. God ain't got nothing about evil, point blank. This shit is in your head. Blessed and God punished me. Because why would it say in the scripture, right? Why would it say in the scripture, you can't tempt God and God is not going to tempt you? Hmm? God is not about evil. Everything we do is by choice. It has nothing to do with the creator. It has nothing to do with anyone but you. You the one that did it. You the one chose the to cheat, right? You did that. You chose to have sex with other people's wives. You, ch you chose to have sex with other people's husbands. It got nothing to do with God. Why has it got to do with God? It ain't got nothing to do with, with God. Because if you're sitting up there trying to look for an answer or to, to, to release yourself from what you're doing, and then all of a sudden things not going your way, adversities hit you, then it's God is punishing me. You think God got time to punish you? Why, 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 why God want to sit there? Let, well, I'm just using a cliche, cliche. It's God sitting up there and go, out of billions of fucking people on the planet, that's fucking up. He don't go, because you ain't nobody fucking pebble, Greek like a sand. Grain of sand. Quote. God is saying this. And he's a quote. Looking up and saying. I'm going to punish you. Oh, move out the way. Move out the way. I'm going to punish you. When somebody else next to you. Is doing worse than you. So why the fuck would you sit up there and say. Oh. I'm blessed. You should say you're blessed when your ass is in trouble and you got out of it. But you go the opposite way and says, I need to be punished. I'll say it again. Read James chapter 1, verses 13. You're in a situation because you put yourself in a situation. No matter what it is. Innocently, if you fucking died, like somebody you got hit, you got hit, hit, got hit by a car and you fucking died. Which, you was punished? Let's think about that. You believe that you was punished, honestly? Some of you are scared because you know, <laughs> and I know, you've been doing more than what you're supposed to be doing. So you walk around here and you hide behind the shield. I'm blessed. God bless me. Good morning, blessing the evening, the night. You, you scared. You scared because you know you was fucking up. You know you was doing a lot of... You was doing a lot of screwed up things. You was. And then you want to sit there and go, Oh, I'm blessed. Oh, um, God punishes people. God don't punish nobody. It don't work like that. See, that's that religion bullshit. Because how are you going to have a one scripture God gives you a choice to do what you want to do? Hmm? You punish yourself if you put yourself in a situation. If I don't brush my teeth twice a day, 
for five fucking years, what you think happens? So, shall I sit there and say, God punished me because I didn't brush my teeth for five years. Who did that? It was me. I did it. I did it. Who are you fooling with the bullshit? Thirty years ago, I'm fifty fucking years old. Thirty years ago, people wasn't even talking about I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Black people have adopted words, and they take it to another level. And I'm not just saying this to be downgrading black people, but you hear it out the fucking box. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Oh, God. The reason why that's happened over there, because they was evil. What? What the fuck you been doing on? Nobody knows what you've been doing because you've been keeping your little secrets. So you felt fucking guilty and now it's, holy Lord. I got one for you. Even in your mind, if you being negative and no one heard you, even in your thoughts, your thoughts is negative. In your thoughts, you talking about fucking somebody. In your thoughts, you talking about doing evil shit. Even in your mind, you figure because nobody don't hear you and you ain't tell nobody. If God, and we know the creator is, Alpha and Omega, God knows all things because we are made in his image. And if we are, and, and we are, and he gave us free will, According to the biblical text, everything you say, you breathe, it's already done. So who are you fooling? I'm Chocolate Almond Ra. Wake up from the madness.